Hi everyone, in today's video we will clean C drive and if your C drive is full and no space left and it was red then how you can fix this or remove anything that you are not using. So first we are going to delete all cache or junk files in our computer. So you can go to your desktop and here you can just press the windows plus R key together and now you can just type the temp only press the ok and it will give you all the files that are junks or cache so press the control a and press the delete and check this option or do all for this current items click on the skip and now you can close this and then again press the windows plus r key together and now you can just type the percent time percent after that you can click on the ok and it will again give you the files that are the cache or junk files in your pc so by deleting these files will not any affect your computer will not damage your any of your pc these are only junks or cache files so you can also delete these files go to your desktop again press the windows plus r and here now you can just type the prefetch so when you just type this prefetch click on ok and it will give you all the cache or junks files whenever you just uninstall or delete application that you are not using it will remain into your PC some of your application files remain in this folder and these are also the files that you are not using in your PC so you can also delete these files press the windows plus R key together again and now you can just type the clean MGR after that you have to just press the OK and now you can select your C drive after that now you can click on this OK and it will open up the window like this and here you can just check this option of the direct tax and delivery optimization files and also check this option of temporary files and thumbnails after that now you have to just press ok and click on the delete files and delete these junks or cache into your pc so whenever you delete something in your pc whenever you delete some photos or videos or some application or some setups in your PC. Some people forget to delete into the recycle bin. So make sure you have to just delete these files in your recycle bin and make sure you delete this file permanently in your recycle bin. After that, we are moving to our next settings. Go to your Windows search again and now type the storage settings and open it. And after this, now you are seeing the storage option on the top so it is always on so make sure you can on this if it's still off in your pc so you can just on it and open this settings down below and you can just check this option of temporary files and just select it to the 30 days and it will delete automatically these files after the 30 days some temporary files or some cache files junks it will delete permanently so you don't need to delete in your pc it will after this now you are back and here you are seeing the apps and features you can just click on that and it will now you are seeing consuming 65.6 gp in my pc and here you are just click on the sort by and just select the size and here you are seeing the most high size apps in your pc so if I am not using this blue stacks, I can just click on that. I can just click on the uninstall. After that, if I don't use this app, I can just click on that and I can just uninstall into my PC. So if you don't use any of these applications, you can just delete these application in your PC. After that, now you can just select this to anywhere and it will give you all application in your PC. So you can easily delete this after that now you can just back and now we are moving to our most important settings in our pc you can also close all of these windows and go to your windows search again and now here you have to just type the storage usage on other devices so you can open that and here you are seeing the local disk c so you can just open that and now you are seeing the apps and features which are consuming 65.5 GP and the system and reserve are consuming 23.4 GP. 
So what is system and reserve? You can open your file explorer and under the this PC you are seeing the desktop documents and downloads music pictures and videos so whenever you download something and store some files or some media into your desktop downloads or documents or videos so it's basically just stored into your c drive so if you have any of these files that you are not using and so you can just open these folders and also you can just delete these files and there are also the big files like the videos or some setups or some the big files like your downloaded programs so you can also delete these files in your pc enable to your just less space or clean your c drive so after that now you are seeing this temporary file so you can just click on that and after this it is scanning for the all temporary files cache files or junks in your pc and you can also delete these after that now you can just came back and you are seeing these others desktop you can also check these so now you can just close it and now we are going to our most important settings open your c drive and here on the top search box so you can just click on that and here you can just type the size and after that you can type the colon and if you type the gigantic it will give the all the files in your c drive that is bigger than 4 gp if you type the huge it will give all files that is 1 to 4 gp if you type the large it will just give the file that is 128 mb to 1 gp and if you type the medium it will give the file that is 1 mb to 128 mb and this is also the method in order to find the large files or some big files or small files and you can delete them rapidly with no effort so the next settings is also the very important settings in order to delete the or clean your c drive so you can open your any browser and here and here on the right hand side you will see this three dot icon so you can just click on that and just go to your settings of your browser and here you are seeing the download option just click on that and here you are seeing my download location is now currently c so i can change that to my d drive i can just click on that so whenever my i just download anything from the browser it can save on my just d drive so i can create new folder which i named it the download after that i just click on this select folder so when i download something from the browser it can download in my d drive and this is the all complete settings in order to just clean your c drive so if this video is helpful for you so please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful videos in the future and i will see you in the next video have a wonderful day.